All right, so this is the second part of the long division of polynomials. Let's take a look at our first example. We got k to the fourth plus 2k cubed minus 8k squared minus 22k minus 5. And I'm going to divide k minus 3 into all of this. So I'm just going to rewrite that, k to the fourth plus 2k cubed minus 8k squared minus 22k minus 5. What I want you guys to realize here is, if you look at your k squared that I'm dividing into, it goes k to the fourth, k to the third, k squared, k to the first, and then down to zero, right? So this is all going in descending orders, the exponents of each one of your variables. Right? k to the fourth, the next term is 2k to the third, next term is ne negative 8k squared, it goes down by one, and it has to go in that descending order. What if it's not that it's down, it's like if, if it doesn't go in descending order, I'm going to show you a technique that will help you find it. Okay? We'll make it in descending order. You can always change the order around, or if you need to put it, if you need to put something in called the filler, then we'll call something called the filler. We'll show you in a second. All right? So k into k to the fourth goes in there how many times? K times what? K times take k to the third power. So k times k cubed is k to the fourth. Negative three times k cubed is negative three k cubed, parentheses, and subtract. So I got 2k cubed plus 5k cubed, which gives, I'm sorry, plus 3k cubed is 5k cubed, bringing down my negative 8k squared. All right, next term. 5 goes into 5k cubed, how many times? Positive 5k squared times, excellent, so this becomes 5k cubed, negative 3 times positive 5k cubed is negative 15k squared, parentheses, subtract, this giving me, that goes away, negative 8 plus 15k squared is 7k squared, excellent, bring that down, so minus 22k, k goes into 7k squared, how many times? positive 7k times, excellent, so this becomes 7k squared minus 21k, subtract, my 7k squareds simplify, negative 22k plus 21k gives me negative k minus 5, k goes into negative k how many times? Negative 1, so it becomes negative k plus 3, parentheses, leaving me with a remainder of negative k minus 3, which is negative 8, so my remainder is negative 8, so then minus 8 over k minus 3. So your remainder is going to go over the k minus 3, just like you did in regular division. All right, so the next example, this is going to have five terms. So n minus 8 going into n to the fifth minus 6n to the fourth minus 21n cubed plus 39n squared plus 14n minus 56. Okay, first term. N goes into n to the fifth how many times? N to the fourth times, excellent. So this becomes n to the fifth. Negative 8 times n to the fourth is negative 8n to the fourth. Parentheses and subtract. Negative 6n to the fourth plus 8n to the fourth becomes 2n to the fourth. Bring down my next term. Minus 21n cubed. n goes into 2n to the fourth how many times? Positive 2n cubed times. So n times 2n cubed is 2n to the fourth. Negative 8 times 2n cubed is negative 16n cubed. Going to subtract. Okay, my 2n to the fourth simplify. Negative 21n cubed plus 16n cubed becomes 5n cubed, excellent. Bring down my 39n squared, so plus 
39n squared. So a slight correction here, this should be negative 5n cubed. How many times does n go into negative 5n cubed? Excellent, negative 5n squared. So this becomes negative 5n cubed. Negative 8 times negative 5n squared is positive 40n squared. Parentheses going to subtract. 5n cubed minus 5n cubed, that goes away. 39n squared minus 40n squared becomes negative n squared, bringing down plus 14n. n goes into negative n squared how many times? Negative n times, excellent. Let's bring this up. So we have n times negative n is negative n squared. Negative 8 times negative n is positive 8n. Subtract. My n's go away. 14n minus 8n. 6n. Bringing down my minus 56. n goes into 6n how many times? 6. Positive 6. So 6n minus 48, subtract, 6n minus 6n, that goes away, negative 56 plus 48 becomes negative 8, so my remainder here is going to be minus 8 over n minus 8, and this will be your final answer. All right, so here we, I got 3x minus 7 going into 6x cubed minus 14x squared minus 9. So if you notice here, there's a term missing. There should be an x to the first term. Okay, so when we do this long division, we're going to set this up as 3x minus 7 into 6x cubed minus 14x squared plus 0x to the first. All right, so I'm going to fill that spot in with 0 x to the first minus 9. Now, we're filling in one spot here. It's possible that you can fill in two, two different locations, two, two spots or three spots, okay, depending on how many terms you have. So if, if this was 6 x to the fourth, I would have to fill in 0 x cubed and 0 x to the first. Okay, so fill in whatever you need to. 3 x goes into 6 x cubed. How many times? 3 x times what is 6 x cubed? 2x squared. Excellent. So 3x times 2x squared is 6x cubed. Negative 7 times 2x squared becomes negative 14x squared. And subtract. Okay. Subtracting this, this goes away. This goes to 0. And you're left with 0x minus 9. Can 3x go into 0x? No. So in this case, can 3x go into negative 9? No. So that's it. So you can't go any further. So this is 2x squared minus 9 over 3x minus 7. So you can't go any further on this one. All right. So our next example, t plus 2 into t cubed minus 48. All right, so let's make sure we have our fillers here. So we got t cubed plus 0t squared plus 0t minus 48. So I have two fillers on this one. All right, so how many times does t go into t cubed? t squared times. So t times t squared is t cubed, and 2 times t squared is positive 2t squared. So this is exactly why you need to fill it. Because now I have, I created a 2t squared term, and I want to be able to put it under the 0t squared. Otherwise, if I didn't put the filler in, it would have came under the 48. And then it would have got a little messed up there. All right, so 3t cubed minus t cubed, that goes away. 0t <coughs> squared minus 2t squared is negative 2t squared. I can bring down the 0t. Okay. t goes into 2t squared how many times? negative 2t. 
so it becomes negative 2t squared. 2 times negative 2t is negative 4t. Parentheses, subtraction. Negative 2t squared minus negative 2t squared goes away. 0t minus negative 4t becomes positive 4t. Bring down my negative 48. T goes into 4T how many times? 4. four so plus 4. So T times 4 is 4T. 2 times 4 is 8. Subtract. 4T minus 4T. See you later. Negative 48T minus negative 56. So T squared minus 2T plus Four minus fifty six over T plus two, and this would be your final answer.